What impact does the date last insured have on a social security disability claim? When you work, a portion of your wages are contributed to the social security system. It's called FICA. And depending on your age and how long you've worked, you have to have so many quarters of coverage to be insured for social security purposes. You could be incredibly disabled and not insured, which means that you're not entitled to something called social security disability benefits. Now, as a matter of course, in my office, I ask a person who's calling me to find out what the date last insured is. And the way to do that, of course, is to contact uh, the Social Security Administration or go on the Social Security website and get that information. Why is that information so important? Well, it's important for a number of reasons. And the primary reason is that you can lose your insured status. If you have been out of work for about five years from the time you last worked, you can lose that insured status. So it's important for us to understand what the date last insured is. So how does it impact uh, our analysis and your proof? Well, let's say that your date last insured ends a couple years from now and you're going to apply for disability benefits. That's great. We don't have to deal with the fact that you may uh, lose coverage or you never had coverage. In the second instance, it might be that your insured status ended uh, before you are disabled. Now that potentially uh, can be a problem uh, because you have no insurance and you've become disabled in a, in, a, in a time in the future. That means you might be eligible for SSI, which is an asset uh, uh, based uh, test. Um, and that's a problem because no one can help you get your social security disability benefits in that instance because your insured status has ended and you became disabled after the date your disability uh, began. Well, how about the situation where your date last insured is going to end soon? Is that an issue? It's not necessarily an issue, but you need to understand that we have to prove that you were disabled before your insured status ends. What happened after the date uh, your last insured uh, status uh, uh, is uh, over and you have no coverage is irrelevant in some respects. In other words, the judge is going to be interested in the medical history, what treatment you got, but the judge is only going to be focusing on what happened to you before your date last insured. So from the date you're claiming you're disabled to the date you're last insured, are you disabled? And if you do, then you obviously you're still entitled to your benefits beyond the date last insured. How about the situation where your date last insured has ended or you don't, or you were never insured? That's a huge problem and a problem that I and any other lawyer can't solve. If you were never insured, in other words, you didn't work or you didn't have enough work credits or those work credits have expired, um, your only uh, possible benefit is SSI, which as I've said, is asset based. If you're an individual, you can only have $2,000 in assets. If it's a married couple, it's only $3,000 in assets and you can have limited earnings, but that's really complicated to, to calculate. So insured status will tell us first and foremost, uh, are you uh, eligible for social security disability benefits? If you have any questions about your rights to social security disability benefits and date last insured issues, contact me at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation.